Alrighty guys, Black History Month soaps part duh. I guess I'm gonna call them Black Love because I don't know what else to call them. So that's what I'm gonna call them. February is also Valentine's Day. So that's what we're gonna go for. Especially since it's his and her soaps. We have our oils, clays, um, and our fragrance in here already. Um, once again, just like the other, uh oh, just like the other soap, we're going to use black oxide, um, lima peel, and really red mica. If I can really, oh, here it is, <laughs> really red mica. So, um, one quick question I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, but my lye solution is like gelatinous. So, I don't know if you can really see that, but if you know why that happened, please let me know. I don't know if it's too cool now or what's going on. So, that never happened to me before. First time for everything, though. So, we're just going to, as you can see, the jelly. We're going to pour the jelly on here. I'll shake down as much of it as possible and <laughs> see what happens. We're going to go for broke. There is no plan B for this one. None of the, um, I don't have any more lye mixed up. This is the last bit of my 50-50 um, solution, and I have to make more. So, we're going to go for it and see what happens. Sink time! So, for the hers, as I said in the previous video, the um, whole idea is to swirl this. Same colors, um, different type of effect, if you will. So, we're going to dry off our clean bowls and containers. And give this a quick buzz and then separate for our colors. Um, I'm just going to add in the other two buckets, the avocado oil. So let's give this a good buzz. And this soap, um, since this is the new recipe and this one gets kind of really thick really fast, um, it doesn't seize or anything, it just thickens quickly, um, I added extra water to this one. <laughs> take this time to add in our sugar solution aloe and sugar you scared the mess out of me aloe and sugar and we're gonna add in about a half a tablespoon of yogurt so we're gonna buzz this in and then split off for our colors <laughs> And I'm still watching the fat doctor. I don't know, it just fascinates me um, about this bariatric stuff. That's why I really watch it. Not thinking of doing any surgeries. If I want to lose weight. I'm still young. I'm only 31. I'll do it the old fashioned way. I'm not going to, um, you know, while I still can, while I'm healthy enough, I'd rather um, 
just go ahead and exercise and eat right. Okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle some lima peel at the bottom. I'm literally going to take the end of my spoon and once again add a tad, literally this time a tad, of the black oxide to the green just to darken it up. It's not going to be as dark as the his soap, but that's fine. I don't need it to be. I'm going to add the really red to its oil. And if you hear any of that jingling jangling in the background, that's Kobe. He's trying to hook up with his pillow. All right, so I'm going to pour some of this off. Red. I'm not going to do that much red for this. I literally just want it as an accent. So we'll set these to the side for right now because this is going to be where we mix up all of the colors. So again, with my big spatula. tablespoon is here but I'm not gonna put in that much of oxide maybe about half if that much and pour some avocado oil in there as well <clears throat> green this is about what I wanted the first time and <laughs> it just got so dark but it, you can tell it's still green okay. I want it to stay as fluid as possible so we'll mix the rest of that in same with the red. of the thin by hand just to make sure everything is good and incorporated but well, he's like stalking me now because he knows that I have food we stopped at White Castle um, after we went to go pick up my mom and <clears throat> he's a dog so he loves any type of food like he even eats a lobster like is that serious just that serious okay green see this recipe would be great if it had a lot of water in it but that's not how I want it so I'm going to try out my other new one, and then we'll see which one will stick for the rest of the year. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Okay, and our red. I like to soap, and probably it's another reason too, like I said, the water, because I like to soap at a two-to-one ratio. <clears throat> so... It's not much liquid in here to begin with. 
unless I'm adding um, TD. So back to our main pot. Another, well, our main bowl, another not the pot swirl. And I'm not even going to swirl this one. However, it comes out is how it comes out. I just want to see. Oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you guys the fragrance for this one. It's Japanese Lotus Flower. And if you've ever used my Lotus Bomb um, Bath Bomb Cupcakes, and it's the same fragrance. I also use this fragrance for um, body butter as well. And it's Amaze Balls. So I think that's about scraped out. And let's get our mold. And we're just going to pour. But first of all, isn't that like the prettiest thing ever? Take my big spatula, scrape out the rest, and this soap is loose enough, oh, enough <laughs> for me to do my shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake, and the tap, tap, boom, boom. Let me get all of this in here, and I'll probably maybe wait. A Two days. Oh, something just dropped. That ghost is back. I'll maybe wait like two days before I take this from out of this mold. I'm probably, since this one has so much liquid in it, I won't have to refrigerate this one. But let's get our baby spatula. Try to get the rest. If I could stop being a klutz and spilling it everywhere. Right, there we go. So, put that to the side. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. Tap, tap. And I'm going to let this set up a little. And I'm going to come back and texture the top. But for right now, I'm going to clean this up. So, I'll be back in a few. All right, bugs, we're back. So this set up a great deal. Just take the back of, yeah, I can use this. I'm trying to use it anyway. Just texture the top. Before it solidifies too much, and then we're not able to do anything okay so I'm gonna leave it like that I did have a tea strainer, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just going to use my fingers as usual and sprinkle some um, 
iridescent super sparkle glitter on the top of this from Wholesale Supplies Plus. This stuff is amazing. Sort of almost holographic like. And then we'll spray the rest um, with some isopropyl alcohol. And because this is so liquid, I'm just going to leave it out. So, there you have it, folks. The hers part, or part de, of our Black History Soap, a.k.a. Black Love. So, we will be back in a while for the cut. So, until next time, as always, be well and stay blessed. And bye for now. Thank you guys for watching. the world.